I just posted some really good information on my uh, YouTube site. I was up working till four, five o'clock in the morning last night watching horses, having getting ready to have babies on the, the horsey baby watch. And uh, so I just started doing some work on my computer and I got this, uh, I started lighting my, my hat with uh, aluminum foil. And uh, maybe I could think a little bit clear <laughs> for once. Not all their fucking uh, radiation bombarding my, my fucking brain. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, so I just started uh, thinking about this. You know, when you when you put together websites, one 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 thing leads to another. One thought leads to another. That's why the they say the the art of thinking is talking, because you. And you're talking with yourself too. The same thing goes with writing. You, it's a process, and you develop ideas and thoughts, and hopefully they're not mind-controlled thoughts, but uh, uh, thoughts about shit that you're, you're investigating. <clears throat> and this mind control, and then I just started the uh, investig thinking about Faith World, the church I used to go to, and and just started researching on what the hell these people were doing, and they're uh, well. Um, the you know it was Oral Roberts University was was what I was researching was their their uh, mind control and I started coming across a boatload of shit that not just only these guys are doing but they have a um, they have monarch mind control which the CIA has been it's been their stomping ground for the God knows how long uh, Oral Roberts University and Joyce Myers is running a monarch mind control program big time up in fucking Missouri. And that's, she was tied into my church also big fucking time. I can't even tell you how many times her Illuminati ass showed up at my church. <clears throat> I mean, she ain't a fucking criminal. I don't know who the hell is. She belongs to jail. They, they, she, had, she had to go to a trial here not that long ago about some, a murder trial. She was involved in some kind of shit with that. They're investigating her for her taxes. I mean, these people are fucking criminals. They're absolutely fucking criminals and they belong in jail right now. Instead, they make them 33-degree Masons, like Benny Hinn, and Billy Graham, and Pat Robertson, and uh, what's that, the Crystal Cathedral guy. I mean, they're all 33-degree Masons. They've been put in place by this fucking CIA New World Order Illuminati shit to fucking control people. They know that that is the best way to control the masses is through religion. So that they get them to preach their fucking New World Order shit and criminal mind control shit. Oh, these people belong in jail. I, there was a great article about these people and what they're doing. And, you know, I just finally tied... People say, are you, are you writing a book? Well, you know, it, it, it it's still being written. Because I haven't been able to piece all the facts totally together, and I'm just now starting to piece all these criminals together and what the fuck they're doing. Because my pastor, Clint Brown, uh, who now works for Obama on some presidential commission to, uh, uh, for the churches, you know eight people out of the country and he picks my pastor <laughs> to sit on this commission for uh, uh, how to, how to uh, help the churches across America and, and Brown was preaching on his uh, YouTube video oh we're going to reach the faith was going to reach the, the country and the world now I mean these people are sick absolutely sick they're, they're all fucking puffed up with their pride and their egos and their mega churches and their fucking million dollar homes and shit that they're robbing God's people from with and how they can get more powerful not how they can do God's work how they can get more more power and money and fame
sick bastards. Well, with their mind control, they are really sick. And I will expose these son of a bitches to the day I die. You can be sure of that. So I got to try to figure out. I got tinfoil plastered all over my windows. It's helped quite a bit. But they're hitting me with this uh, radio frequency shit. I hear these, hear their sick songs all the time. And uh, so I got to try to figure out. They say if you tape magnets onto a back of a radio and tune it to a dead station that that helps block some of these frequencies that they're using, that they're hitting us with. So I don't know. I'll try anything. But it all finally started coming together after I started doing more research on these people and realizing just how widespread this fucking monarch mind control is in the church. I can't tell you how many people who told me that they got targeted with this shit after being involved in a church. And the Catholic church is just as bad. I tell you, man. This is some pretty sick ass times, you know. He calls it the great apostasy. That was the, the name of the article. Exposing mind control and their uh, their crimes, their crimes in the church, their scams and mind control. I, I think that was his exact wording in the church. And he named names too. It's just a laundry list of fucking New World Order Illuminati preachers. I told him, well, you need to add a few more. <laughs> and I gave him Clint Brown's name in capital letters. That's where all this shit started, was in Florida. I just hope the son of a bitches didn't implant me with something. Because I had, I had ear implant surgeries while I was at that church as well. At the VA. And that's when a lot of this shit started. Just hope the bastards didn't fucking implant me with something. I, I, my dentist has looked looked on the uh, on the uh, CT scans and MRIs. He can't find nothing. And I know he looked. Cause he knows he knows what's going on. So I don't know, maybe they just want me to think I'm implanted. But I know the church is really involved in this shit big time. And that explains this big fucking hope sign right next to my apartment where I moved into. Right plastered all over a church. I mean, can you believe it? You go to a church to find God and you wind up getting targeted with fucking mind, CIA mind control. Can, can you believe it? Can you fucking believe it? You, 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 you go to a church and you trust in this guy supposed to be your pastor and he winds up turning you over to the fucking CIA for mind control? Can you fucking believe it? <laughs> 